Hello Blender friends and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now before we get started on our tutorial, I'm going to give you a little bit of news. Recently, Blender came out with a new version of their program, um, which is Blender 2.45, and it is available for download on the official Blender site, Blender.org. Also, recently I've decided that I'm going to make some Blender DVDs, and it'll be similar to the series I'm doing now, and they'll just be more in depth and they'll be about two to three hours and about twenty bucks and so if you're interested just message me on YouTube and when the Blender DVD comes out I'll let you know and what I'm gonna do when twenty people are interested I'm just gonna go ahead and start the DVD Okay, so let's get started on our tutorial today. Today we're going to be combining um, what we learned in a lot of the previous tutorials. So, first off, for opening Blender, we have our default cube, which we're going to delete today by hitting X and then clicking Erase Selected Objects. And we're going to hit the space, Add, Mesh, Plane. So this gives us a little bit of a ground to put our objects on. Hit Tab, then hit S, then hit 5. This, using the S for size, and hitting 5, we were making it 5 times bigger than it originally was. So, then we can just click from that. So now we have a little ground here. And go to Top View, Space, Add, Mesh, UV Sphere. And if it's not at these default settings right here, you can change it by clicking these arrows. So just get it to what I have here. Segments 32, rings 32, and radius 1. And then hit OK. So now we have a little sphere here. We hit Tab. And then we're going to hit G and the Z to move it along the Z axis. And we are going to hit 1 to move it one complete object up. And see how it's just barely resting on the plane there. So now we're going to go into the top view. And we're going to move, hit the G key and move it up just a little bit to the side. Now that we have this in the right place, we're going to hit Shift D. And it automatically uses the grab tool. And we're going to move it so it's just touching the edge of the other sphere. So now we have two spheres right next to each other. Then we're going to hit Shift D again. And we're going to move this one up to the top. So they're sort of like a stack. So now we should have three spheres just barely touching the plane, all right next to each other. Now we're going to go to front view, hit shift D, go all the way up, and so it's just barely touching that top of the that sphere. Now we're going to go back to top view and move this over in the middle. So if we go to view, camera, or numpad zero, we should see four spheres all close to each other. And from here, I'm going to hit G, and I'm going to move it down, so it's in the center, and then left click. So now we've got a little stack here. So from this, I'm going to go hit front, or sorry, top, and select all of these holding shift and clicking the right mouse button, so all of them are selected. And then I can move them with the G key a little bit more closer to the camera. And left click. And this is the camera right here. So we can see everything a little bit better. I hit the G key again. Move it over to the right. So you can see it a little bit better. Go to front view. Hit the Z key. 
I'm going to hit G, move them up a little better, so they're just touching that plane right there. So now that we have them in the correct vision, uh, the correct position, hit View Camera, unselect Z, let's see them right there, and hit Set Smooth in the bottom left-hand corner, so they're all nice and smooth. So from here, hit A to deselect all, select one of them, go to this sphere right here, it's called shading, or you can hit F5, add new, and we're going to add a material to it, and we're going to make it red. So drag the green and the blue sliders down, and up the red slider, so now that's red, let's add a new one, make the next one green by sliding down the other sliders, and pulling up the green slider, and we're going to make this last one blue. And then on the top, another one, and we'll make that yellow. So now, when we hit F12 to render this, we get here of these four nice looking spheres. Now you can see we can't really see the red one, and it's sort of sort of darkened over here by the shading because there's only one light to the side. So we're going to go back into our editing, go to view, top, select this light by clicking the right mouse button, shift D, move it to the other side. Now we are going to hit render again. And now we have a nice completed render. So you can go to form.nystic.com and N-Y-S-T-I-C dot com and you can post your win render and if it didn't turn out right you can download the render that I made here and you can make your changes and um, if you want to you can post the render that you made and any modifications that you made. So I hope you learned a little something today and see you on the next tutorial.